Hello guys and welcome back to the second episode of the Christmassy Town with me, Pug Gaming. Now in episode one we got the main core down, we got the streets down, we started on the main town, started actually with the church which came across and worked really well in the end. Uh, we've got a few shops down the side here and we also done the Christmas tree build as well with the Christmas lights which have had a lot of positive feedback on that and uh, I hope that's given you guys some ideas to create your own Christmassy theme. Now in this episode we're going to start work on some housing because at the moment there's nothing at all here for people to live. We've got some shops and a pub and a church and nowhere for people to be living. So today's episode is going to be about getting some houses down, a bit more detailing and also making it a little bit more like a work in town. So we need some uh, police stations, fire stations, the usual town like malarkey but I want to do it quite on a small scale as I said I don't want to be putting massive buildings in here it's gonna sort of replicate this little zone here so that's the plan and obviously the first plan that needs to be implemented is getting power to this area so I had to make a decision on how I was gonna do so is either build outside of the zone of what I'm building a power plant of some description and bring it along power source uh, well, power line into this area but I thought to make it more realistic we done some wind turbines on the top of the hill and we brought the power down there eventually once I have built up the hill the other housing estates we can get rid of the ugly uh, looking power lines and put in the um, more British style ones which will work much better so once the power side of things were sorted we then needed to get some water to this little town village area so I just put down some uh, pumping stations just outside the map and just brought the pipes in really just wanted to keep it all out of the way we can obviously add some detail of other parts a bit later on if needs be but for the time being I want to keep that sort of that sort of area uh, clean of, uh, of these sort of things so now that's done we're going to jump into a little let's play here and we're going to look to detail this housing estate so these houses they're the traditional british houses i've been using in the british challenge and they work really well got a nice covering of snow to keep that christmasy sort of winter theme going and what we're doing now is we're going to try and find the best suited trees and there's a few on the workshop that already are snow covered which is brilliant for this uh, this series and this sort of design build so we're just going to go through here and see which ones I know some of them that aren't snowy still have some snow on them based on the theme we're using but these ones look pretty cool actually so we're just going to work our way through the list here and just start adding some down I want this area to be a very sort of tree like I was going to say bushy area then but that sounds a bit funny so yeah, we want to try and get a good coverage of trees around this area, especially in between this housing estate and the church itself. So we're going back to the days of British Challenge and just pushing a, putting a lot of foliage down. The only downside here is the only foliage we can really get away with showing off is these sort of, sort of conifer trees and the larger trees that have the, the um, snow covering because you start adding plants and it kind of lead you away from the realistic snow theme idea we're going for so we can't really do anything like that we could do some light coverage in areas of some tree like sorry some um, lower foliage areas some grass etc because even if it does snow there are areas that people clear away etc so we might try and implement that a bit later on but for now these look like the best trees to add in here. The combination of both these two certainly seem to fit the theme nicely. So we'll keep these ones here. The difficult thing I always find is how much to add. There's always that worry of having too much and it looks a bit silly or overcrowded. But fortunately in this, this design it's a little bit easier to get away with a lot more foliage of these trees because we are designing a sort of Christmas uh, wintry theme and that's in my opinion what gives the theme its, uh, its title really having all these trees around so it's not as bad to do so. 
but going back to the British challenge, there was a few few areas that some people thought there was a bit too much tree foliage. In my opinion, where I live, that wasn't the case, but I can certainly see what people were sort of suggesting in those opinions. So this shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is the fire station, the school's in place, and now we're gonna have a bit of fun with some detailing of this small police station. And I've not really done much detailing in terms of police station, but I'm thinking what we'll do with this one here is we'll create a sort of fence area around it. Um, this little side area I like. Um, we're gonna use this as a sort of drive-through area. So we're gonna house off well, close off the area itself with some fencing which is where the people can park their cars offices etc but we're going to leave that little right hand corner as you look at it here open for the police cars to drive in off the road and back out in that sort of sense so let's get down to it we've got the pathway down here like so let's move that across a little bit there Okay, and if we search for a fence, we'll probably use the same fence we used earlier. Um, I think it was, was it this one? So I'm not sure whether we can go all the way across here and have a little entrance, or if that's going to look a little bit too, too enclosed. Not too sure really. Don't really want it that long either. Just want to give the idea here of um, the police station has its own 
sort of car park at the back for people to park, etc. Rather than just a, a random asset, which is what I love about the game, to be honest. Um, people who make these buildings give you enough that you can still incorporate your own ideas into it. So, despite this PlayStation itself being an absolutely amazing model, they also leave it open. So they haven't done their own um, fences around it and sort of, you know, backstage bits, etc. They've left it open for you to do so. I know some some props and assets do have a finished solution as I like to call it but there's always room for improvement in my opinion or not so much improvement but room for your own imagination to be included within that. So I think the only thing that is missing at the moment if you're looking to do a snow like theme is you kind of want to have a decor that shows some of the underground of the snow if that makes sense. So here we see it's uh, we've done the concrete down here and ideally what you'd want is some sort of decor that shows a little bit of snow coming through or well, a little bit of ground coming through for example in gardens in the back of people's houses there's not always going to be a full coverage of snow unless for example I know this in particular this build has a lot of snow going on which could replicate the fact that that's more realistic but there will be parts where cars have been parking or moving around and people walking playing in the snow where you might want to add a little bit of um, a little bit of a, a change and the best I found was this one of the new decors from the workshop which gives the idea of a little bit of movement around this area so in my eyes it comes across like a car has been moving around here obviously the hot engine itself has been melting some of the snow so it's not perfect but it kind of replicates what I'm trying to show and basically I'm trying to show that this is a drive through for the police. Um, what would be really cool actually is if someone wanted to design some footsteps, that would be pretty awesome. Um, especially down the town area and across some big fields where people will obviously be walking in the snow having some fun or even just out walking their dog for example. So having something like that would be really awesome, just plopping a few of those round or just something to make the snow look a little bit more um, realistic in my eyes it's a little bit too solid in terms of its colorage um, and I know that's how all of these decors started to be honest we um, had all these before these in the workshop everything was a little bit a little bit too solid I guess is the best way to describe it and then as soon as these decors were created by these amazing people in the workshop that's when we was able to make things look a little bit more realistic and a lot more well lived in I guess so what we're doing now is just putting a few um, lines down for the car park and it's difficult to see but you can still see them and that's what I like about this even though the snow's there some of these um, some of the props do still give that lovely feeling that you know the snow is covering it but it's still there which is what I really like and that's kind of what I'm trying to get at with the um, the missing decors in my opinion on the on the workshop itself so I'll prop a few cars down here and this is pretty much coming to the end now of this station and it's going across nicely I do now looking at it more I do like the um, those decors um, on the snow they do look like they've been well used I guess if someone wanted to create as well as the footprint some sort of um, a tire tracks I guess to show that you can put some nice ones on people's um, driveways etc that'll look really cool um, but yeah, just a few ideas. I know the Christmassy um, designs don't last as long. It's only normally the festive season that people tend to want to design with the snow. But it'll be interesting to have some extra bits and uh, even some more Christmassy sort of um, props and assets would be lovely to have on here. Um, but, you know, even though we haven't got these, I'm still trying my best here to create some sort of a Christmassy theme. And I'm hoping it's coming across as good as I can. So guys, that's pretty much it for episode 2. We've got the main core of the high street down now. We've got some of the essential requirements to make this town a little bit more, well, to allow it to be lived in. We've got the houses here. And we'll move on to next time doing a bit more housing estates, a bit more detailing. And I'm thinking of doing a sort of big field area with some snowmen on, etc. So... Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in my next video, all the best.